Hi everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. Today I am going through my May Currently Inked. Um, I'll first talk about the inks and then the pen and ink pairings. And right now I'm going over my supplies. You can see I'm using my Kemi's Labo Dip Pen in the broad nib. You see my stainless steel cup and my Hobonichi A5 plain notebook. The first ink that I'm featuring is Dominant Industries Autumn Forest. This is the ink that changed my mind about shimmer inks. I've tried shimmer inks in the past and just didn't have the best luck with flow and I didn't know how to pair shimmer inks with the broad uh, nibs or the right types of pens, but this is the ink that has changed my mind. It's this beautiful mossy, earthy brownish green with rose gold shimmer and the shading in it is also really, really pleasant to look at. And it is the ink that I go to now in drafting, slowly drafting my pen pal letters. And it adds just that special touch, especially when you're holding the letter and you're looking at the handwriting. It's only something that you could really truly perceive and appreciate in person. The next two inks are from Yosaka, and this one is a collaboration that they did with Ink Institute in creating their signature, their original fountain pen ink, and it is Origin. I've always loved Yosaka, but after visiting their shop, getting to meet Daisy and her team in person in March of this year, I've fallen more in love with their beautiful business and the culture and the team that they've built. And so any opportunity I can get to support them, I am happy to. And I'm really excited to add this emerald green jewel toned color to my collection. You'll notice later in the close-ups that this ink has a beautiful red sheen and there is no shimmer and there is just a beautiful saturated tone to this ink. The second ink from Yoseka is Tang Misa Blue, and it's a beautiful pastel-y gray greenish blue that I was first introduced to by VA um, through Simona's Ink Swap. And ever since then, I knew that if I ever got to visit Yoseka in person, that this would be one of the items that I would purchase, that this would be the ink that I would get there. You're also probably wondering, why is it called Tang Misa Blue when this ink definitely leans more green? Well, I reached out to Daisy months ago and she responded over email so kindly. And she mentioned that in Mandarin, the Chinese character for blue, historically used to describe both blue and green. So that's where Tang Misa Blue comes from. And now we have one of my favorites. This is Pilot Iroshizuku Inaho. And this is, I think, the first full bottle of ink that I purchased when I started my fountain pen journey. As many of you might know, this ink is now discontinued, though I really believe that Pilot should reconsider. I think they should bring this color back. What do you think? I recently did an ink comparison video for those of you who don't have Inaho but would like to try some dupes. So I'll provide a link in the cards above and also in the description box below. But I think some great alternatives could be Ferris Wheel Press's Goose Poupon or Kobe Ink's Shinkaichi Gold. The last ink is Colorverse Green Goddess. And this is an ink that I got from Atlas Stationers when they had a promotion going on for all of the Colorverse inks. And I chose this color because I realized I didn't have any jewel tone greens at the time. Now, since the creation of this video, I have, I think, four jewel toned green inks. And this ink behaves very similarly to Yoseka's Origin in that there is a little bit of red sheening, it's a saturated ink, and they look very similar on this page here too. Now, as I do a close up of the dried ink swatches, you could really see the gorgeous rose gold pink shimmer in Autumn Forest, the red sheening in the green inks, in addition to the beautiful shading properties of Inaho and Tang Misa Blue. Now I'm really excited to share with you the pens that I have inked, um, that I've paired with each of the inks that I swatched. This is a set of pens that I haven't really showcased in any of my videos because they are recent 
purchases for me and this first one is Dominant Industries Autumn Forest inked in the Twisby Clear Mini and this is in a broad nib and you can see that before I started writing I rolled the pen in my hands just to lift the shimmer particles and make sure that it's well distributed as I lay the ink down on the paper. This pen is my dedicated pen for shimmer inks and I have really enjoyed writing with this particular pen, especially with my pen pal letters. And to my pen pals, thank you so much for your patience. This next pen is the Twisby Black Mini, and this is in a fine nib, and I have it inked with the Yoseka Origin ink. And what I've really enjoyed about this particular pen is the feedback. You can probably hear it a little bit in this writing sample, but it provides the most wonderful sound, um, sonic companion, if you will, as you write. And it has been just a pleasure to write with this pen and ink combo. I have to say that I really love Twisby Minis. Well, I guess I saved the best Twisby Mini for last. And this one should have been the very first one that I showcased because this is the first Twisby Mini that I got and I absolutely love this pen. It's probably one of my top five, if not top three pens in my collection. This pen I got in person at Yoseka and I was in there and I was asking Daisy about the rose gold mini and she said, you know what, let me go out into the back and get you my personal rose gold mini. So I was able to test it out and I was convinced and I have been so happy with this ink and pen. Um, and I, as you can see, I have it paired with Yoseka Tang Misa Blue and it is one of my favorite pairings. Aside from the Twisby Black Mini in the broad nib, the Sailor 1911 Standard is the only other broad nib that I have in my fountain pen collection. And this also happens to be one of my favorite writers. It's a broad nib, just like the Twisby, but this pen has a beautiful feedback to it. And I think paired with Pilot Hiroshizuku's Inaho, I think this is a winning combination. It is one of my favorite writers again from this month. Now this pen, the Pilot Custom 743 in the color Verdigris, is a US exclusive, and also it's the newest pen to my fountain pen collection. This pen was made possible by supporters, many of you who use my discount code. So I wanna say a big thank you for supporting my channel and for giving me this opportunity to have a pen like this that I could showcase and share with you especially with the timing as I am celebrating my first year of being on YouTube. I have this pen inked with Colorverse's Green Goddess and I think it is a perfect ink match, don't you think? So what do you think about this lineup of pens? And what was one of your favorite ink swatches? Feel free to let me know in the comments below and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks, bye.